Now the election where you live. Canada's defence minister is in a battle to keep his seat in the riding of Nepean Carlton. David Pratt admits he is taking some heat for Liberal scandals of late. His opponents include Eastern Ontario's youngest candidate. The riding in the southwestern suburb of Ottawa is one to watch. And that's what Natalie Vandenbosch is doing tonight. Okay, great. Defence Minister David Pratt is defending his seat on a mission to get re-elected in Nepean Carleton. Pratt's campaign is in high gear. I won my first election by about 250 votes. So ever since then, uh, and that's, that was as a municipal councillor, ever since then I've always run very, very hard. Never take anything for granted, talk to as many people as possible. Among the issues Pratt is facing at the door, his party's spending and a tax increase from his provincial counterparts. You know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not impressed with what I'm seeing. While addressing those concerns, Pratt is focused on his track record. People around here recognize that. Uh, they recognize that certainly in terms of the, um, the, the work that we did together on the Via Rail Station at the municipal and at the federal level to get that uh, located here. They realize it also from the standpoint of the O-Train, getting the O-Train out to South Nepean. First house, first lawn sign. In the Conservative right camp, the pace is go. somewhat more relaxed. And, uh, do you think we can count on your support to bring a change? For sure. Oh, that's 24-year-old Pierre Poliver is counting on votes from those disenchanted with the Liberals. Accountability. Accountability is the number one issue. Poliver is the youngest candidate right. in Eastern Thanks Ontario. So Despite now. his inexperience, he says he can unseat a cabinet minister. The people in uh, this community think it's time for a change. You know, you have a lot of young families who are paying far too much in taxes, and they're simply tired of seeing all of that money being wasted. In the last election, David Pratt took home just over 41% of the votes in this riding. Support for the Canadian Alliance and the Conservatives combined was just over 50%. It's expected the riding of Nepean Carleton won't be easily won by any of the candidates. I don't think it'll be in for the Liberals. Not too pleased right now with the, with the Liberals and such, but... Uh, Maybe some fresh blood in there might be, be good. All the scandals in the Liberal Party, so I'm definitely Conservative. <laughs> David Pratt, for now, but that's just for now. I'm not too really sure. Things can change over time. I really would appreciate your support. With a background in non-profit housing development, Phil Brown is running with the NDP. The New Democrats have not been able to get a lot of votes in the P.N. Carlton over the past uh, couple of elections. What I'm hoping to accomplish is to make sure that the uh, government, that the Liberal government is held accountable for all the cuts that they've done over the last 10 years and for all the positions that they've taken that have really undermined and threatened the programs and services that Canadians hold dear. Will residents in the P.N. Carleton send the defense minister back into battle, or will they rally the troops for change? This is one riding to watch on election night. Natalie Vandenbosch, CJOH News. It's a four-person race in the P.N. Carleton. Phil Brown for the NDP, Pierre Poliver for the Conservatives, David Pratt is the Liberal candidate, and Chris Walker is running for the Green Party.